Hello MacWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MacWarrior Online. Today we are playing the Raven Hero, the Yugin. And uh, yeah, this is just uh, one of my, well, it always has been one of my favorite mechs and it is still, even with the new tech. And what we are doing today is uh, we are going into a brawling range. So we go for an SRM4 build that we have here and we are going for light machine guns. Why SRM4? Mm, because the Yugin in general, it has a lot of hit points for a light mech. As you can see, we have 33 armor points in the, in the front here on the side also, and 38 uh, as structure. So it has more structure than armor. This is crazy. This is so, so absurd. It is super, super tanky when it comes to raw HP. It's of course not as tanky as an urban mech, for example, because urban mechs have more armor in general, but it is still good enough to get into a nice, nice brawl. It also has jump jets, and it has crazy missile quirks. When you take a look at this quirk list here, uh, quirk and skill list, you will see that we have uh, uh, missile cooldown of minus 15%. That's good. Uh, it, it used to be bigger. I, I believe the, the highest that you can ever had was 25. So you shot the missiles like crazy. But minus 15 is good, really good. It has missile heat generation minus 10%. So you can sustain that. You don't even need heat sinks. Um, we have a missile range of plus 20%. That is really good. So with all the skills and quirks applied, our SRMs shoot at about 350 meter. 350 for SRMs. That's really good. And then again, we got a lot of structure in our mech and uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. This is this is the highlight, the, the missile quirks on, on the Yugen. We also have access to the, the four machine guns, uh, which really help critting enemies. And we are running uh, three and a half tons of ammo, which is uh, sometimes not even enough. So again, you have a very, very low cycle time and uh, you will see that in, the, especially in the first game where I run out of ammo and uh, that, that's crazy. But at some point, you gotta rely on the team to 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 finish the job, uh, and 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 you did your job by by throwing out a lot of missiles here. Skill build looks like this. Uh, we have a lot of firepower here, um, or invested a lot into firepower. I mainly uh, went for cooldown. Again, you do not need heat generation. Try to skip that. But I went for a velocity, which really helps targeting here. And um, I tried to maximize cooldown here. And of course, all the missile nodes, because uh, magazine capacity, as I said earlier, is crucial. You need that, because you will run dry at some point. And a missile spread is questionable. You don't necessarily need that, um, but uh, it is it is very easy to go down this path here and um, get the cooldown at the missile rack here. Therefore, I took that and uh, that one down here as well. We're running almost full skeletal density and a little bit of armor applied to it. Again, I want to be close. I want to brawl with that raven and therefore we need more survivability or as much as we can get. Running a little bit of um, kinetic burst, heartbreak and anchor turn here because uh, I want to quickly... Uh, get in the fight, uh, shoot some missiles and then disengage again. So I'm doing a lot of hit and run shenanigans. Therefore, lower torso mobility is needed and uh, upper torso mobility is already very good. So you don't need to amplify that at all. We have uh, no operations here. Again, no cool run needed. It's all good. You only shoot SRM4s. You won't run hot ever. But uh, I'm going for radar deprivation to quickly break uh, locks when I'm in a close range scenario and I quickly want to disengage because it's getting too hot for me. Then I want to break locks so that the enemy cannot anticipate where I am going and where I will pop up next. And uh, radar deprivation on skirmishers and, and, and light mech brawlers is, uh, is, is quite nice to have here. Uh, also, double artillery because um, yeah, our damage is limited, as I said. Therefore, we amplify it a little bit with uh, our artillery strikes here. That's it, everybody. That is the build. And I wish uh, you a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. And if you have that, as always, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing Canyon Network. We are playing a Soul here, and I saw an enemy in Echo 3, so I'm gonna challenge him. Because the Yugen is really good in one-on-one -on -one encounters. It is such a great brawler. And yes, I say brawler. It is a light mech, but it is a brawler, and it has a crazy range on the missiles. Okay, maybe I stretched it a little bit here because it was about 400 meters, and I, I only have 350 meters roundabout. But still, it is a good mech, and therefore, uh, we're playing it today. I want to show you. I want to show the capacity of that. Hey, I want you to turn him around. Hey, could you could you just stop? There we go. Hey man, I want to fight you. Oh, he's running large pulse. That's actually a little bit scary. Hey yo, don't 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 chase the guy to Fox 4. I have it under control. Yeah, push uh guys, let's move over to that There he is. Hey dude. Okay, guys. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Okay, we open him up. Jump. I, I think I'm gonna disarm him. I think that's that's absolutely it. We're gonna disarm that guy. 
Hello. By the way, uh, these stutter jumps, they make it so that um, um, that you can splash the damage. So now we go for the machine guns. And destroy that arm. Okay, not scary anymore. And, uh, you know, it, this is basically it. Okay, we got some help here. But it's fine. See that? And I'm not even, I'm not even damaged. I got 11% of my armor is gone. And we got a kill. So... That, that is a trade that I am definitely willing to make. Oh, I was hoping that he was come come closer. Okay, let's go for the Mauler. He's uh, running Gauss rifles, regular Gauss, not heavies, regular Gauss. And I really hope that we have enough ammo, uh, ammo, ammo to sustain, to just sustain that fight here. So um, machine gun ammo will probably be low at some point, but uh, you know, I just I just go for it because it annoys the enemy, it makes them panic, and uh, it's it's really cool to have. Um, I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to, New wait, Urban Mac, or Urban Mac is not cool, he's so armored, he has so much HP and he can splash the damage pretty well, let's go for him once, uh, let's drop artillery here, uh, hey dude, hey dude, hey, hey, hello, I'm shooting you, oh yeah, I'm gonna get to India, he has double LB20, and uh, the thing is, I, I need my team to follow up. Um, can I drop another artillery? My team is not coming! What? <laughs> okay, now they're here. Guys, we can push in very aggressively. They are super damaged already. Please do it. India, for example. Okay, I need to, to I need to pull back. Guys, could you, could you come, please? That, that Charlie 5 area is super hard with mechs. And we can fight them. That's what I want to say here. Okay, we, we can do the Pop-Tart then. Hello. Okay. Gonna play it safe. If we cannot do do the brawl, we're gonna do the, the pop tart. Man, I love the Yugen. It's so good. Okay, uh, this guy? No? Can we please push? Guys, I'm I'm serious, we can do that. Don't be afraid, rifleman. Juliet, left side was a crit. Um Annihilator, almost down. Okay, we go in. If I have to do it, then I'm gonna do it. Hello. Okay, down he goes. Keep going! Oh, we're gonna lose this, right? Is this it? Come on, boys. Come on, we can do that. No problem. I'm down to 44 missiles. That That, that is it. That is as much damage as I can do here. Come on, what took you so long? You know what, I'm going in. I'm gonna find myself a nice squishy, squishy target. Uh, heavy PPC. Yeah, we're gonna underrun this guy. Whoop, let's get up here. Hello, 90 meters. 90 meters. And then we're gonna annoy him with my machine guns. This is probably, most likely, 100% uh, an XL build. So we're gonna uh, use our machine guns mostly. Hello. Depleted. I know, I know. Gonna keep that guy busy here. Where is he? Hello. Oh, this is so pathetic. Yeah, he's uh, panicking. He's shooting the, the PPCs, although he shouldn't. Ah, oh, not enough. Go for the Jäger mech. Jäger mech is crit side also. Kill him. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can bring it to the end. My god, that took so long, team! Jäger mech. Jäger mech critical side also, dudes. Right side. No, left side. Left side crit. Jäger mech. Uh, I think he's down. Okay, yeah, he's down already. Go for the Dire Wolf. It's an easy target to kill. Try to ignore the Locust. Go for the Dire. Mm, yeah. Why, why the Dire Wolf? Because he's steady and easier to hit. The Locust only, only baits the heat out of you. So, go for the steady target, go for the easy kill, go for the secure kill. And uh, don't try to chase something here. Uh, people are going for the Locust, right? Oh, come on, boys. You should know better. Go ahead and do it together. Let's see what we have on the battlefield. Um, a Shadow Cat. Streaks. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense going for the Locust then. That makes sense. Uh, the Marauder is dead. Why is everybody so afraid? I don't get it. Why is everybody so afraid to fight? I mean, in this situation, clearly, you, you, we are more or less behind here. And the people want to play it safe, sure. But uh, in the early phase, we could have overwhelmed them so easily. Timing, guys. Timing is everything. And we had them where we wanted them to, to be. Um, if we just go back to the situation. We had high ground. 
they were all bought, bought up in, in a single spot. They couldn't really maneuver, they couldn't really fight. Most of them were damaged. We could have taken coordinated kills there. Uh, we didn't. Um, that, that was the, mom the, the momentum that we completely gave up. We were ahead and nobody capitalized on it. I, I was the only one just going in, more or less. Uh, maybe there were one or two other mechs, but most of the people were, were not capitalizing on our advantage that we had. And I was, you know, I was calling it. Come on, dudes. Sometimes, sometimes I'm right. Yeah, I'm wrong in most, uh, not most, but in a lot of stuff. But in this, this situation, dude, I was right. Oh. Uh, anyway, feels bad, but you know what? It is not a problem because you win some, you lose some, and in the end, um, it equals itself out. All right, let's have a look at the end score before we go over to the next round. Close game. Yeah, it was, it was okay, Brawl. GG. <laughs> okay. I would say it was okay. We could have easily won that. That's that's uh, my point here. But anyway, we got three kills. We got uh, six assists, three KMDD, and 908 damage with five components destroyed. That's the first round, everybody. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing uh, the Frozen City and we are playing Domination. I'm gonna go to the center. I just wanna tap the circle and then um, we, we, I don't know, we're gonna figure out the plan. So uh, I just wanna make the counter count down and uh, as soon as my team has the high ground, I think I'm gonna bail because then they can shoot in the bottom and then the timer will stop because uh, when you take damage by, while capturing, the capture will stop. It's just, just like that. Okay, so this is, a, this is a very nice spot here. I uh, tip my toe into the, the circle here and I have complete cover. Uh, the enemy cannot shoot me here, uh, unless they have some indirect fire like artillery, airstrike, something like that. But I just hope that they didn't see me coming here. So okay, therefore, okay. yeah. Okay. We contest the circle against the Viper on the other side, by the way. Um, I saw him coming in. And this is a bushwhacker with rotaries, okay. Um, probably XL, maybe light engine. We're gonna see about that later. Um, it's always good to to keep in mind what you have on the battlefield, by the way. So g get your intel early, remember it throughout the battle, and then capitalize on it when it's needed. So this is the Huntsman. The Huntsman is heavy, large, uh, and something else. So he's running laser vomit, basically. And now my, t uh, my team got the high ground. We can get out of here since we have some other mechs uh, doing the capture for us. And yeah, we want to we wanna help out fighting on the, on the high ground. So let's do it. Let's do it. Man, guys, I really love the Yugen. It is so tanky. It can take so much beating. And uh, as you can see in the game before, you can play it super aggressively without even being, um, you know, in need of somebody else around you. Uh, but only for an extent, uh, for a um, 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 uh, limited period of time. Okay, artillery is ready, so we're gonna use that right now. That's good. That's gonna hit. It's gonna hit a lot. I uh, really hope my team is not going in. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, this hurt a lot. Okay, uh, guys, we, we pro should probably fight in the center. Hi. Uh, I drop another artillery in front of that. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Hi, dude. Hey, dude. I, I, I'm here. I want to. I want to kill you. Is that okay? Okay. XL. Yay. Uh, yeah. Let's go for the annihilator's leg here. No, wait. Oh yeah, it is the Annihilator side that we want to go for. Okay, we got that going for us. But there are enemies on the right side. This is the bushwhacker we saw before with the rotaries. The rotaries will jam eventually. Um, yeah, just right now. But we need more teammates around to make anything work here. There's a Hellbringer. Yeah, everybody's on the right side in Fox 5, but it looks super solid right now. It's a commando. Commandos, by the way, uh, light mechs. Don't go for light mechs unless you don't have any other target. Uh, because your missiles will spread and you will not deal optimal damage with that. So go for big hitboxes. Try to uh, hit the heavies and the assault mechs. The piranha is scary. Uh, oh, wait. There's a guy. Ha! I found my target. Hello, Bushwacker. I'm gonna shoot you from behind. Uh, then I'm gonna contest that guy. That might have been a problem, though. Because he's doing the, the smart thing, going for my legs. Okay, let's let's run. Let's just skirmish around here. Open up some space for my team. Oh, did we kill some? Oh, we destroyed something here. Uh, I'm lagged now. No, not quite. Okay, he overheated. He was scared. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is the lag. But it's okay, guys. We again, we we basically killed a marauder 
and we pulled that that viper off so uh, i didn't play for survival here so i, I was i was trying to to get something done and uh, yeah this is what you get sometimes you, you just get legged and then you die this is by the way the thing that you need to take care of um try to not expose your legs and if you see a yugen on the other side this is how you do it you just destroy the legs and then that, that raven doesn't do anything anymore again the yugen is super tanky can splash the damage very well in the upper torso but uh, it is vulnerable on the legs anyway let's look the uh, let's watch the game to the end here the viper is still standing strong oh maybe not anymore <laughs> Okay, Piranha again, super scary Max. I really, I really love them. I have a love-hate relationship between them or with them uh, because of, of that. What just happened here? Wait, we can go back. It's gonna destroy the Nightshire. There's no chance. Nah, not a single chance. The Nightshire is doing, by the way, a very smart thing. He completely ignores the Piranha and tries to get as much damage out as possible to the Bushwhacker here because he cannot do anything against that dude anyway. He is not fast enough to turn. His turn rate is really bad. Instead, he says like, okay, I'm gonna rely on my team and, and hope that they will take off that piranha in time and I still try to deal damage while um, that guy is chewing through my back armor. This is, the, this is the smartest thing you could do. He could have also panicked and tried to turn around, but that piranha would have jumped around him and avoided his damage. Instead, he dealt so, right? So, uh, sometimes, sometimes it's the best way to, to just focus on your task at hand dealing damage in front of you and uh, ignore what's going on behind you. Uh, anyway, we got 11 kills already. We have the circle under control, so it's one enemy left, which is... Oh, is that a disconnect? Uh, team is giving away the position. Charlie 6, they say. Uh, maybe an AFK. Yeah, it could be an AFK. But yeah, guys, I hope you can see why I love the Yugen so much and why I didn't really change anything um, from my SRM build. It's only the light machine guns that I that I added um, compared to the regular machine guns that we had before because I really like the range advantage there. And apart from it, it is still just a, a monstrous brawler. Oh, what, what's that AFK baiting here? <laughs> no, it wasn't. I got a supply cache, which I won't open. Um, we're gonna do that on stream. If you don't know that I'm streaming, you know now. Just go down to the description, there is a link to my Twitch page. I stream almost every day, so if you want to join, click that link and leave a follow so that you get the notification. Anyway, um, I have zero killing blows, but it doesn't matter because we got 10 assists and 3 kill most damage dealt. We've got a 577 damage done with one component destroyed. And uh, that's the daily dose for today, everybody. That was the Yugi, and I hope you liked it. And if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support the channel, go down below to the description. There's the link to my Patreon page. And I hope to see you on the battlefield, everybody. Goodbye.